Hello to all my le lovely members. I can't even talk. And welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Cassandra Olivia. Back with yet another tutorial. So as you saw on my main page, I'm going to be posting this in two different sections. Reckon sent me their acidic bonding shampoo and conditioner as well as a leave-in. I'm not going to use this for my mannequin, but I did want to show you guys what I'm using. These products are expensive and really nice. So I'm, I try not to use my Olaplex and stuff on my mannequin only on paying customers because you don't want to waste your products okay so we're just having fun and i'm going in with some framer products that they sent me as well they sent me their good vibes um i just went completely blank they sent me their good vibes foils and brushes as well as reckon also sent me this shades eq new colors that they have and these are like violet series violet undertones that will help cancel out yellow so initially i showed those in the beginning just because that's what i got last week from all of the different pr packages but then again, also, I didn't use the toner just because I'm going to use a purple shampoo for the mannequin. It's not that serious. But if this was an actual client, I wanted to get them super, super blonde. I would use a toner and probably a purple shampoo. But just for the sake of saving money and not wasting a good product, we're just going to go in with what we need to go in to achieve the look. Nothing more, nothing less. So this is a lightener that Redken sent me a while back. This is their powder lightener. I'll be sure to drop it down below that they sent me with a 20 volume. So I'm just going in placing a few scoops and then I am mixing this. I'll drop the formula down below because I know I'm talking fast, but just know that I mix this together and you want it to be like whipped cream consistency. So y'all know I like even numbers, but I put in 61 grams of the lightener powder and then I put in 101 grams of the lightener solution, which is a 20 volume developer. And then I mix that together, which is why you see the 162 here. Um, I tapped it until it became 162, and then after that, I just mixed it. Now, I will say that if I was doing this on a pan client again, at this point, I would have added some Olaplex in as well. However, because we're doing a mannequin that's only like 30 bucks from Amazon, we are not going to do too much. I just want to see how much lift I can get because initially I wanted to do like a purple pink look, but I decided that I have some Adora that's been sitting in my house for quite some time. So what I decided to do was just go ahead with all pink, different hues of pink. And I wanted to do like a multi-dimensional pink mannequin. And then I think next week I'll do either purple or blue. We'll just go through the whole rainbow. Why not? Because it's Pride Month. Yellow. So um, I just wanted to focus on doing like some bold colors and some color corrections and go from there. So this is the same mannequin that I bleached just the front of that I posted on my channel. And surprisingly, people were like, oh my goodness, like I really like when you do these type of videos. So I decided to post more as promised. So I'm just going in the back of her hair. I'm going in with these Framar foils because, again, I just want to see how much of a lift I can get from this Redken in this 20 volume. So with the foils, that turns it into technically like a 30, 35 volumes, depending on how thin and how tight you do them. So my goal here was to pack on the foils, as many foils as I can in the back, left, and right. And then you will see that I'll come back to do the front section. Overall, this application took me about an hour and 10 minutes, hour and 20 minutes. I was moving, but my goal was to see how many foils I could have packed on this back section, both of these, and I think I accomplished that. Because I get so many foils, I was just like, I want to start using them more and try to pack them on as much as I can. So that way you guys can see the different looks and how they look. Get a nice feel if you decide that you want to go to Framar and purchase some of their stuff. But uh, honestly, I have so many different foils. I can literally do a different foil every day of the week and be good probably for a month straight. Like Framar has really hooked me up and I really appreciate them. And Redkin, this video is not sponsored, but you guys know that they send me stuff literally every month. So I'm just very, very thankful to be part of that. Um, so here I am, I'm just applying lightener on these sections. I'm doing like thin slices. I know that when you're in hair school, they tell you that the thinner the slice, the better the lift. So that's what I was kind of going in here. My mannequin started off at like a natural level too. So she's not quite black, not quite like dark dark brown she's like almost there so we're just going to say her starting levels between like a two maybe a three and then there is some gray because this is a mannequin and some mannequins do have gray hair that's to be expected um, whenever coloring a mannequin just know that sometimes the results won't be even just because some of the hair can be from different sources so always keep that in mind but just make sure that you are doing a thorough job So I'm not going to talk too much here. I'm just going to let you guys enjoy me applying the very back two sections of foils. Again, it took me about an hour and 10 minutes just to do the two back left and right sections. 
but then after that i will come back and show you guys a different way to color the top i believe i processed this mannequin two or three times i did the back left and right in one section i also did the top left and right at a different time and then i went back and then just hit the back one more time so i processed the back twice and i processed the front once i believe but don't quote me i'll double check when the video please but just know i went in a few times just to see how much lift i can get
Friends come in droves. Take flight. Was never on the same court. Them guys. Not I. Before you judge a book, try reading it. Before blasting all of your insta feeding it. Lying through your teeth. So how about you try wiping the lens for taking the picture first? It'll save you some time. You can peek all you want, but you're broken in mind. Check on the motor inside. Niggas be parasites, feeding off you till you run out of fuel. Then they run to the moon. I ain't surprised, guys. No, no. That's why I do not take no shit from nobody. I've been tested too much, hurt and left to the dust. My bones are made of glass, I'm still walking. So I take extra steps to shatter expectations. I see the future and past, niggas just stepping on glass. Started shining, now they mad, nigga he strong. Niggas defending your path, and niggas won't take part in that. Where was you at when I crashed? Like a sea coast, yeah. I see the future and past. Niggas just stepping on glass. Started shining on they mad. Like a hate stroke. Niggas are finding your path. And niggas won't take part in that. Where was you at when I crashed? Like a sea coast, yeah. Black and white is fleeting. You should try a little color, yeah. Black and white is fleeting. You should try a little color, yeah. Black and white is fleeting, you should try a little color, yeah. Black and white is fleeting, you should try a little color, yeah. Pressure turning niggas into diamonds. Diamonds turning niggas into fools and the toes. You can't build them way around it. I know you feel surrounded. You know you're human too, right? Running in the moonlight, hoping that you find what you're looking for. When the truth was magnified tenfold. In your face, I can make a wanna fade. Think I need a crucifix around my neck. Why? Cause everybody step of disrespect. Whoa. Reading all the mother daily says. Yeah. Matter of fact, these seven for the class. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to make a mess. Yeah. 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 Niggas tell my story like they wrote it. Hold up. Last I checked, they barely even know me. Hold up. Origin does not equate to homies. Just say you down. Please show me. Yeah. Please show me. Uh. Please show me. Yeah, yeah. Take flight, was never on the same court. Them guys, no, not I. Before you judge a book, try reading it. Before blasting all of your insta feeding it. Lying through your teeth. So how about you try wiping the lens for taking the picture first? It'll save you some time. You can peek all you want, but you're broken in mind. Check on the motor inside. <laughs> Niggas be parasites, feeding off you till you run out of fuel. Then they run to the moon. I ain't surprised, guys. No, no. That's why I do not take no shit from nobody. I've been tested too much, hurt and left to the dust. My bones are made of glass, I'm still walking. So I 
So now that I'm getting closer to the top, I'm just doing the same thing. I did the same for the left, back, and right. I'm only going to show you guys the right section because at this point, my camera died when I started the left section. And it was really, 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 really time consuming. But just for this side, it took me about 55 minutes. And I just wanted to add a clip in here once I was done to show you guys that when you do foils, they do swell just a little bit. So I'm going to add a still shot when I was done applying the section. Just be mindful that these do expand. So if you are packing them tight and you see them starting to shift and move around, that is completely normal. Okay, so now that we got the back, left, and right section out of the way, I'm going in now with some manic mesh and a completely different technique for the top that's not going to take you as long. So this is ideal for somebody that's trying to get some lift, but not necessarily trying to get the most maximum lift, but you're trying to get it lifted in a decent amount of time, aka half the time of using foils. So this is a method I'll use depending on what level I want to get the customer or the client to. So as you can see, she does have some blonde hair for me doing the front. She also has that natural level two hair. And what I'm doing is just saturating with lightener first. I'm going to pretty much trace the whole entire section and then go in in subsections and just make sure to thoroughly saturate all of the hair with the lightener. What I'm going to be using instead is the manic mesh, what I just showed you guys. It does not insulate as much as aluminum foil. However, because I'm going to be packing these closer together in sections, it will provide a little bit of heat to the hair so that way it'll get insulated enough just know that if you want to get the most blonde lift you do want to go in with some foils and i'll show you guys once i spin her around and i'm done how the back looks versus the top when you lift the hair with foils versus not doing foils and then also um once i'm done this top section i am going to go ahead and hit the whole entire back section again just for a few minutes so i let the top sit for about maybe 45 minutes to an hour and then I just went ahead once that was done processing for a little bit and just applying lightener all the way to the back. I'm just running my fingers through to make sure I get as much lift as possible. My goal going into this was kind of like a multi-dimensional pink. So I wanted that money piece in the front that we did previously to be a little bit brighter. I wanted to have some dimension in uh, the blonde shade that she's going to be. And then I wanted the back to be really, really bright and also just to see how much lift I can get. So that's kind of how I went in. And you'll just see me here applying the lightener to the top right and left. And I'm also applying some on the mesh sheet just so I can get a little bit more saturation. As you can see as well, these sections are a little bit bigger. So you just want to make sure that when you're doing bigger sections that you're applying more lightener and you're making sure to really, really go in and saturate that hair. This mannequin was cute, but I think I will go in and order a couple different more uh a couple different mannequins that have different hair textures just because I felt like even before we started the hair kind of felt dead and lifeless and then as I was coloring it it just felt like it was getting more dry and brittle now again I did not use Olaplex because why would I this is a mannequin but I feel like I've done blue on a mannequin prior I'll drop that down below and that mannequin took a beating when it came to lifting the hair color I don't know if it's the same company or just the type of hair texture but I literally lifted that mannequin like a platinum 
and then colored it blue. I felt like I could only push this mannequin so far before the hair would start falling out, which is why I didn't do a super, super high lift, like a 10 or 11. I kind of went in with like a level eight, nine, as much as I can get it before I felt like, okay, this hair cannot take anymore. So you always want to be mindful of that as well. But just enjoy me applying this lightener. I will link this mannequin down below if you guys are interested. And then on my mannequin, uh, mannequin on my Amazon store as well, I will be sure to link my uh, must have. So if you go to my salon list, it'll have everything that I use from the beginning of this channel to the end of this channel to more recently. It'll have every product that I use, mannequin, spray, bottles, hair color, anything that you need is gonna be on that list. I also have a list for the girls, stuff that we do at home, fun activities for like girls hair and like things for kids. And then of course I have my YouTube list. So if you guys wanna see more detail what I use, be sure to check that out as well.
Okay, so now I'm just doing the same thing to the top right section. I'm gonna subsection it out, go ahead and outline with the lightener, and then I'm gonna go in with the frame our manic mesh and then just section and separate the hair. Once I'm done and I let this sit for about 45 minutes, again, I'm gonna go to the very back section that we did in the beginning of this video and just trace over it so that way we can get a little bit higher of a lift.
Okay, so now you can see how the front looks. It's already starting to turn blonde on the left-hand side. Now we just need the right to catch up. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna go in with that same mixture and just apply this all to the dark areas that I felt like I just wanted a little bit more of a lift. This was kind of like a level seven to me. So I wanted to just bring it up to like a level eight, nine if possible. So again, I'm just going in to give it a little bit more lift and just be mindful when I'm done, I am gonna go in with the Redken Purple Shampoo. So that way, any yellow undertones that are still left in the hair will be neutralized and it'll give it more of a blonde feel. And I'll show you guys what I mean um, towards the end. Okay, so now you can see the top where I did that lift in the back where we did the foils. You can definitely see the difference. The top has more orange undertones, whereas the back has more yellow undertones. But you can definitely see how much lighter the back is compared to the front. The front is giving more burnt orange and the back is definitely giving some blonde undertones. So what I'm going to do here is just mix that lightener combination again using a big framer brush this time. And I'm just gonna reapply that lightener all over the top of the hair and um, so that way we can get a nice lift. I'm gonna start from the top and then just work my way to the back, I believe, one more time. Can't remember, but I know I definitely hit the top. Just enjoy this application, and then after this is when we're gonna shampoo it with the purple shampoo. I actually did record that, but my video footage was corrupt, so for whatever reason, I could not upload it. So I'm just gonna show you guys on the camera towards the end of the Redken shampoo that I use. But when I tell you it's like such a violet base shampoo that it knocked out any hint of yellow in the hair, it literally came out perfect. This, I just let sit for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, just because, again, I wanted to get a little bit more of a lift, and my fear was that because I'm using some Adore, not really expensive hair color that's semi-permanent, I didn't want it to look orange underneath. So I wanted to get a nice lift and also see how far I could push this mannequin before the hair started, like, acting crazy. So that's the reason why I'm going in again. Essentially, I colored the back once with the foils and then I did the top section and then I went back to the back with the remainder of the lightener and then I'm just doing the top again. So I did each section twice, okay? 
Once I was done that, I was like, okay, that's good. I'm good. I've used enough product. I've played around with the foils. I've played with the mesh. I pretty much have tried everything I can try. So now I'm just hitting this with the lightener yet again before I rinse it out. And this will be my last lift. And I decided to add the frame art foils on top just to add a little bit of heat. Like I said, I only let this sit for about 25 minutes. So in that time, I want to get as much lift as I can so I don't have to go in and do this again. So I just added the foils for a little extra touch so that way I can get as much lift as possible.
And right here is the Redken shampoo that I went in with. This is the Color Extend Blonded Shampoo. It's a violet pigment. And this is what I used to get all of that yellow out. So now, as you can see, now that I'm done shampooing, I didn't use any toner or anything, just the purple shampoo. I let that sit for about four minutes on each side, ran it through, and then I just did some basic conditioner by Leaf and Flower. But she is blonde, guys. So we did this all in one day. We took her from a level two all the way up into a level nine, which was not bad. The Redken said it can get you up to nine levels of lift, which is awesome. So definitely feel like if I left this on longer, it would have done even more. But again, this is a mannequin, so I didn't want to do too much but look at how blonde she is now keep in mind because this is a human hair mannequin a lot of times they source the hair from like i believe deceased people are people that donate it or whatever you will get a little bit of inconsistency but overall the hue is what i want it to be which is that blonde undertone there will there will be still a few pieces that are like gray or that didn't take but again that's to be expected so thank you guys so much for watching part one of how i lift this mannequin and stay tuned for part two so you can see how i came out with this multi-dimensional pink and thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you guys in the next video bye